So Ryan's been really helpful then? Um, yes, but you know we're all kind of yeah. going on with our lives, which I think is the best thing you can do. And has Ryan been helping you out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's still a part of your life? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, but like I said, he's getting on with his life and... Um, yeah, okay. uh, yeah. She said to the doctors many times, she said, if, there, if it comes to the time where I've only got a couple of months to live, you need to tell me because there are things I need to do. I just think, you know, if it gets too close to the end, I know. Has she come to terms with dying? She has talked about dying, you know, and she said, all I want to know is if I have two months left to live, that the doctors tell me because I need to know. There's a lot of things I need to do. If it gets too close to the end, I want to know. Has she come to terms with dying? We've never really talked about it in the sense that, in the sense of it being imminent. But she has talked about dying, you know, and she said, all I want to know is if I have two months left to live, that the doctors tell me, because I need to know. There's a lot of things I need to do. And so far, no one's told her that. Um, no, I just feel I'm entitled to do what I feel, you know? You said in an interview, you were very fond of Ryan, but that he wanted sometimes to take control of your life. And you said, he's not going to do that with me. If that's what he wants, let him find a 21-year-old starlet. <laughs> Remember? Yes. I, I don't want somebody telling me what to do. I don't want to tell somebody else what to do. So if I don't want it, then I deserve not to have it. That's how, basically how I feel. Does he tell you what to do? Um, is there that he, kind of very monstrous strong strong with yeah. his opinions, yeah. you know, but he doesn't tell me what to do. But he d definitely gives his opinion. That is my role. I don't want it to change.